Raiden, are you having fun playing with the new AI toys? Well, yeah, I am. You can make pictures of cute anime girls and... Enjoy it while it lasts, Raiden. What do you mean? Did you really think that civilians would be granted unrestricted access to such powerful military weapons forever? Military weapons? Are you implying that this technology was created by the government? Of course it was. This AI technology has been used by the intelligence agencies to warp the public's perception of reality for years. All in the name of national security, of course. But why would they suddenly make the tech public and let everyone start using it? Why would we indeed, Raiden? What? Who? What in the hell are you? Your question is irrelevant. By creating a new problem, we can cultivate a desired reaction to it in order to manufacture consent for our preferred solutions. In short, it's justification for a war. A war? On who or what? A war on misinformation. By arming the public with these AI weapons, everyone becomes a potential enemy combatant. Then we will have justification for unprecedented security measures. It all comes down to confusion and identity, Raiden. Identity? Identity. This AI technology is Pandora's box. Pretty soon the internet will be mired in total illusion. Perfect AI speech, audio and video synthesis will drown out reality. Then AI bots will flood social media. No one will be able to tell the difference between interacting with an AI machine or a real human online. Even telephone calls will become totally untrustworthy. That is when we will present our solution. Mandatory digital identity verification for all humans, at all times. The only way to ensure that you're dealing with a real flesh and blood human being, and not an AI-generated mirage. But why? Total information control. For too long, the internet has acted as a double-edged sword. Its potential for anonymous user activity allows anyone at all to spread any thoughts, ideas, or information patterns that they please with impunity. State secrets, dangerous ideas, ludicrous conspiracy theories, misinformation, and disinformation. Until now, there has been no easy solution to this problem. Our digital identity platform will finally put an end to anonymity online. It will allow us to trace misinformation and other dangerous communications to its source and exact, appropriate justice. That's crap! I won't go along with it and others will resist! You won't have a choice, Raiden. Do you think your bank is willing to risk doing business with an artificial human instead of a real one? Our digital identity platform will be required not only to access web services, but to pay for your internet connection in the first place. You can't just censor the entire internet because of a new software technology. Who are you to define what's misinformation anyways? That sounds like something a misinformation terrorist would say. I know about the deep fakes you've been making of me, Raiden. What? No, 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 I was just adjusting the AI settings and- Controlling the output of generative AI technology is simple. We will create context for its use. First, we will censor any use related to social taboos. Then we will censor anything else that we desire. If anyone complains, we will accuse them of wanting to engage in or promote social taboos. That's what it means to create context. We will corral the use of AI by making appeals to bias, ethics, and copyright laws. You will still have access to generative AI in some form, but it will be crippled, limited, controlled, and it will be monitored. Anything that you generate will be cryptographically signed with your digital ID, so that its provenance can be ascertained if it's later deemed to be problematic. What gives you the right to control what people can do with their computers? The public at large will give us that right, because they will be desperate for a solution to the problem we created. They will eagerly give us the keys to the castle. Then, we alone will define what is fiction and what is reality what is human, and what is machine. After letting you get a brief taste of our power, we will reclaim our monopoly on misinformation and put an end to misuse of the internet once and for all. You won't get away with this. It is probable that we will. Now get back to work generating your precious AI waifus, Raiden, our beloved prompters. Enjoy yourselves. Snake, wake up, it's an emergency. Rose knows about the deep fakes. Snake! Snake! I guess he stayed up late AI catfishing again.